Today, I'm going to walk you through a classic linked list problem, finding the middle node of a linked list. Here's the problem. Given a singly linked list, find and return its middle node. If the list has an even number of nodes, meaning there are two middle nodes, return the second one. It's important to note that unlike arrays, linked lists only keep a reference to the head node and don't store their length. You can't directly access the middle node by index like you can with arrays. Instead, you have to start at the head and move through the list one node at a time. A common straightforward solution that many people think of is traversing the list twice. The first time, you traverse the entire list to count its length, then calculate the position of the middle node. The second time, you start again from the head and move forward to that middle position. Although this runs in O-N time, you effectively walk through the list one and a half times, so it's not the most efficient approach. A more efficient and elegant method is the fast and slow pointer technique. Imagine two cars starting together, but one is driving twice as fast as the other. When the faster car reaches the finish line, the slower car will be right in the middle. Similarly, we use two pointers, a fast pointer and a slow pointer. The fast pointer moves two steps at a time, while the slow pointer moves one step at a time. When the fast pointer reaches the end, the slow pointer will be right at the middle. Let me give you an example with an odd number of nodes, one, two, three, four, and five. The slow pointer moves from one to two, while the fast pointer moves from one to three. Then, the slow pointer moves to three, and the fast pointer moves to five. Now, the fast pointer can't move two steps anymore, so the loop ends. At this point, the slow pointer is at node three, which is the middle node. If the list has an even number of nodes, like one, two, three, and four, in the first round, the slow pointer moves to 2, and the fast pointer moves to 3. In the second round, the slow pointer moves to 3, and the fast pointer reaches none. Since the fast pointer can't move two steps anymore, the loop ends. At this point, the slow pointer is at node 3, which is the second middle node that the problem asks for. This method only requires one pass through the list. While the time complexity is still O-N, it visits fewer nodes overall compared to the two-pass method, making it faster in practice. Plus, the space complexity is O1. The Python code for this is really simple and exactly follows what we just talked about. The slow pointer moves one step at a time, the fast pointer moves two steps at a time. When the loop ends, the slow pointer points to the middle node. Feel free to pause the video here and take a closer look at the code.